wants for you. I'm going to go ahead and go over all of these lines here that we went over with the watercolor paint and just redo our white lines so they're nice and pretty. And clean all those up. Oh, I look for you, for you, for you in this hollow town. Cause all I've got a memory of when you hung around. You and I'm using my extra fine white Posca pen, um, no which is a very white, very opaque marker type of a pen and it flows really nicely. It doesn't get clogged. It's much nicer than most of the white pens that I have experienced. It comes from Japan. You can get them off of Amazon or jetpens.com and they're about $3.99 each. I usually get probably eight so I can get free shipping on them. In this bottle of wine But it's hard to remember What I hoped I'd find Oh, I look for you, for you, for you But then sometimes I start I'm afraid of a heartbreak Finding out that you're not You said please be still And no Yeah you said Okay so now I'm going to go on to my little birdies And I'm going to go ahead and put their little Um feathers on here and these are basically like U shapes and they start you start with a line there and then your next set of U shapes this is going to be like a half U shape and it's going to start over here and it's going to end in the center of the one before kind of like brick layering and it's almost like it reminds me of when you learn how to do cursive or something when you're a kid you know so it's just that movement of just hitting the middle of that feather and then moving on and then at the end you can keep going like that if you want to if you like those shapes or you can just do in the center of each one kind of a long line going to the end so it's up to you how you want your little birdie to be and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get you closer and do that on this one so same thing, I'm going to start at the top of this wing and I'm going to go, let's see, U shape, U shape, U shape, and then I'm going to go start over here. This is going to be a half of a U up to the center of this one and then do that again. And then start over here, a half of a U shape going up to the center of the second one and then over. It's very simple. And these are just sweet little birdies. Like soldiers in their nice clothes. There you go, that's pretty simple. So, um, now I'm gonna go back in with colored pencil through the whole thing. Um, you picked up some colored pencils, you may have picked up a 12 set, you may have picked up some individuals. Whatever colors you love, that's really what you need to use. So don't worry about the colors that I'm using. Use the colors that you want in your painting. And just create this to be your own special painting that you can hang up as a reminder that you have little helpers wherever you go that are gonna go along with you and help you to have a very uh, happy life anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness.
All right, so. I'm gonna go in around the flowers, so around all the edges of the flowers with this aquamarine pencil and kind of darken up and get where those black edges are. I'm gonna darken that up and I don't know if you can see this, so let's see here. I'll widen you up again. So I'm just going where this black is with my with my pencil and I'm just making a darker area around all of the edges. So I'm kind of cleaning up where we left that black and giving us kind of a, a dark haze around all of our flowers here. So around all of those edges if that makes sense. So then around every petal. So just kind of fading out into the rest of the painting. So it's almost like a just you and me will be a halo effect around the all of the flowers. Just wait and see. And it and it softens the black that you left. You'll still you'll still see the black in there, but it won't be as prevalent. So I'll be brave if you're brave. So I'm not sure if you can really see what I'm doing, but any darker than what so you have a lighter color here, this is gonna be darker than what you used as your main sky color. So just make sure that's the only most important part is that that haze is a little bit darker than the sky that you used here. So I'm gonna go around all the edges and do that. And then I will turn the video camera back on. So I won't make you watch every little detail of it. So I'm gonna go ahead around the bottom of these edges here. Um, now that I've completed doing my darker around the flowers, I'm going to go ahead and make just the illusion of grass down here. I'm not making grass necessarily. I'm just making kind of a faded green, scribbly colored pencil. And you can even kind of blend that in with the, the blue that you did here at the bottom. So it's just kind of giving it a fade of greens down here. You don't want it to have every blade of grass. You just want somebody's mind to know that this is a field of flowers. Now you could do this with your neo colors if you wanted to, or you could do it with um, some watercolor, or you could do it with acrylics. You can do this whole project with any, really with anything that you have on hand. And I, I recommend doing that. Um, And after you're done with this class, if you've bought the supplies, then you should be really set for a lot of other classes, either from me or from somebody else that's teaching them. So I'm just going around the bottom all the way along and just giving it just a touch of green down there, just to give it a little bit of an illusion. I'm looking at the centers of these flowers and I'm trying to make a decision on what I want to do with them. I haven't <clears throat> really decided, so I'm going to decide with you. Um, let's see here. I'm going to look at my colored pencils and do something with colored pencils, I think, in the centers. Usually I always think about color too, color choices, and look at what I'm really, what I have a lot of and what I what I want to really make stand out. And so I do have a ton of blue here in this painting. And when you look at the color wheel, the opposite of blue is orange. So orange is always going to make um, blue stand out more. So I'm going to go ahead and with this orange, uh, it's a yellowed orange colored pencil. And I'm just going to go into the centers of these. I think I'm going to start at the very, very center and push the hardest at the center. So I'm pushing harder at the center. You don't want to break your pencil. 
And then I'm gonna slowly just kind of lighten, lighten my grip on this. I'm working in a circle to where I barely have any color as I'm getting to the center, because I, or to the outside, because I wanna keep the black. So it kind of looks like little seeds in the center, if that makes sense, because you have that, you already have the texture of the board and the texture of the black. So it's gonna kind of bounce off of that and not go deep. So I'm just gonna do, like I said, just in the center, I'm gonna do a lighter and then I'm, or a, you know, the pencil is lighter, I'm pushing harder. But as I go out, I'm barely touching and then I'm not, I'm not personally gonna go all the way out to the edge. Now, if you want to, you wanna color your whole center, that's great. You don't have to use orange, you can use whatever color you want. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of these. Every tears white to dry. We will cross just you and I through Jordan's way. Oh, and in that final hour, when death has lost its power. That them glass will surely cower when we're face to face. We will see him face to face. In fact, I think I will. So I think I'm gonna go back with that ultramarine blue. Um, on the outside and, and go work my way towards the inside. Now I'm using a Carve Othello, Othello pencil right now but that's just because I think that it's gonna pick up the color is gonna pick up a little bit better for you to see but you can just use your Prismacolor so this is a pastel pencil but you can use your Prismacolor pencil that we already used that's that ultramarine blue I'm just kind of trying to show you so on the edge I'm gonna put a little bit of blue there just so it looks like it's a shadow and then kind of work it through the center You're all that I have 